hello everybody and welcome to one more video on overloading so this is going to be our last very last video on function overloading for now and after that we'll be moving on to uh, other newer topics so let us take a look at the program that we have before us today so it says that we will have to design a class to overload a function called num calc num underscore calc as follows so the first fu the function that we are supposed to overload is num calc all right and so the process of overloading has been given here so the first one it it says void num calc and there are two parameters int num comma char ch with one integer argument and one character argument computes the square of the integer argument if the choice ch that is the character variable is s otherwise it will find its cube so uh, in the first function which is uh, which goes by the name num calc there is one integer argument by the name of num and another character argument by the name of ch so what it does is it will take the integer argument and it will check the value of the character va variable so if the user passes the value s then it will find uh, the square of that particular number otherwise it will determine the cube of that number and uh, display that okay so this is the uh, objective of this first function so now let us move on to the next function which is also having the same name that is num calc and the return type of num calc is also same but the function signature is slightly different because here we can see that there are two parameters uh, two integers that is and another uh, one and another character variable so there are three parameters in all so it says void num calc int a int b and char ch with two integer arguments and one character argument so it computes the product of integer arguments if ch is p else it will add the integers so if so like before we, we are going to pass one uh, sorry two numbers integer values that is to this function and we will also be passing along with these two integer values one character variable so one value to the character variable and if the value passed is equal to p it will ca compute the product of a and b otherwise it will add the these two numbers that is a and b and it will display it and finally we have got void num calc string s1 string s2 with two string arguments which will print whether the strings are equal or not so we are going to overload the function num calc in three different ways the first way is to uh, the first one uh, the first function that is it takes one integer value and one character value and it will um, compute the square of the integer argument if the ch choice ch that is the variable character variable is s otherwise it will find the cube secondly we've got void num calc int a int b and char ch where if the value of the character variable is p it will uh, simply find the product of a and b otherwise it will simply add a and b and it will display the result and finally we've, we've got num calc so the objective of num, num calc with two string arguments is to check whether the strings are equal or not so now let us take a look at the code for this program and see how we are supposed to implement this so i have named this class overload 09 uh, because they haven't specified any class name in the question itself so we can take any arbitrary name and uh, the first function as you can see is void num calc and it has one integer vari variable that is one parameter uh, which is integer and another parameter which is a character value so if ch which is a character variable is s so as ch is a character variable we can use the equals operator to check whether the value of ch is equal to another value or not so uh, you must be familiar with the equals operator which is used to check whether a num numeric value is equal to something or not so in case of an integer value or a double type value or any other numeric value we can use the equality operator that is double equal to operator to check whether that particular variable is equal to some other value or not so here also essentially we are doing the same thing we are taking a character variable ch and we are using the equality operator that is double equal to to check whether the value of ch is equal to s or not so as character values have an ascii code and they are essentially ascii code uh, 
they are essentially ascii codes for various symbols that is characters so character values are actually ascii codes for various symbols that we use in our computer programs so so that is for that very reason we can also use the equality operator for the character variables we can check whether a particular character variable is equal to another uh, uh, value or not by using this equal sign double equal sign and uh, if it is equal to s we can simply ca calculate the square of num by multiplying num with num itself and if we are storing the result in the value square all right so next we are printing the square the value of the square okay and if the value of the variable is not equal to s if we, if we pass some other value apart from s if we are passing a value that is different from s so in that case we are not going to be calculating the square so let us take let us take a look at this question once more it says uh, there is one integer and one character argument and it will calculate the square of the integer if the choice ch is equal to s otherwise it will find the cube so ap if we send any value to ch apart from s then it will find the cube of that particular number okay so if the value of ch is not equal to s it will go to the else part and there it will try to determine the cube of this number that is num and then it will display the output so uh, firstly we are ch checking whether the value of ch is equal to s or not if it is equal to s we are calculating the square and we are uh, storing it in a variable by the name of square which is an integer type value otherwise and if the value of ch is not equal to s we are going to the else part where we are calculating the cube of num and then we are displaying it so this concludes the this concludes the first function that is void num calc with one integer and one character argument so now let us move on to the next function that is void num calc with two integer vari variables and one character variable so let us review uh, what this num calc with two integers and character is uh, intended to do so it says uh, it's uh, there will be two integers and one character and if the value of the C of the character variable ch is equal to p it will calculate the product of a and b else it will simply add these two integers so let us take a look at this code now so here we have the second function itself void num calc with int a int b and char ch so if the value of ch is equal to p as uh, in the previous program we have also used the equality operator to check whether the value of ch value of this variable is equal to some value or not so this value in question is p so if the value of the variable ch is equal to p we will calculate the product that is a into b and then we will print the product all right and if the value of uh, value of uh, ch is something other than p in that case we will calculate the value we will calculate the sum of a and b okay so in that case we are moving on to this else part and we had uh, we had uh, calculating the sum of this very vari these variables a and b and then we are displaying them so we are following the instructions that were given to us in the question so first of all we'll check the value of ch and uh, and determine whether it is equal to p or not so if it is equal to p it is plain and simple we can simply calculate the product and if it is not equal to p then we'll go to the else part and we'll calculate the sum of a and b and then we'll display the sum so uh, I hope we had, uh, by you've understood so what this function is uh, supposed to do. So now let us move on to the third function, third and the final function, overloaded function, numcalc. So here we don't have any more uh, integer values. We have only one string value, s1, and another string value called s2. So in in the f previous two programs there were some integer variables and a character variable, but in this program it is in this function that is we've got one string argument s1 and another string argument s2 so uh, let us take a look at the question once again uh, it said that we'll have to take two string arguments which will print whether the strings are equal or not 
so if these strings are equal so if these strings are equal it will say that the strings are equal otherwise it will say the strings are not equal so uh, what uh, does it what is this uh, what is that concept of equality of strings uh, supposed to mean so what exactly is this equality of string all about so a string is said to be equal to another string if both of them are exactly the same so let us take a look at an example let us say we've got string s1 as sorry s1 as a b c d a b c d and string s2 is equal to a b c d so both of them are a b c d the difference being that s1 has all the letters in upper case and s2 has all the letters in lower case so from a grammatical standpoint from a standpoint of english literature or english language we can say objectively that a b c d s1 and s2 are both same because they are having the same value that is a b c d but from the perspective of java or more importantly from that of the computer system a b c d in caps and a b c d in small letters are totally different because the com computer will simply uh, will simply compare them on the basis of their unicode or ascii code values so a b c d the letters in the first string these have values ranging between 65 to 90 because the ascii code of capital letters starts from 60 5 and it goes all the way up to 90 and in case of s2 the values of uh, ascii uh, ascii values or unicode values starts from 97 and they go all the way up to 122 so s1 and s2 if we compare them on the basis of ascii values they are totally different even though they are the same from the standpoint of english grammar and language so obviously s1 and s2 are not equal in this case so the equals operator that we have used in our program so it will check that if s1 and s2 are equal to each other in all respects and if s1 equals s2 that is if the, these both of these variables are exactly the same having exactly the same values then it will print it is okay otherwise it will print that they are not equal so this is how we calculate the equality of these two strings so let us run the program and let us uh, check the output once over here so uh, we are going to invoke these functions from the main method so let us take a look at the main method here so in the main method we have created an object of this class overload underscore 09 ob equals new overload underscore 09 and ob dot num calc uh, in the first function we have passed two values 9 and s and uh, so it will calculate the square of 9 and in the second function we have taken 3 and 5 and we have passed q and in the third function we have passed abc and abc so you can see the result already in the console below so the square of the number 9 is 81 and here as the value of uh, the character variable is not p it is q so it will add a and b that is 3 and 5 and it will print the output 8 so if we alter this uh, and let us take a look at the third function and here it is abc and abc and they are not equal as you can see see here if i change it to caps abc in caps so the output will become different this time around so here it will uh, calculate the product and here it will say that both the strings are equal so this concludes this uh, this tutorial and uh, if you have any queries or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and if you have any further questions please get, don't hesitate to get in touch with me and i'll see you all in my next video hopefully have a nice day everybody and take care